Today we're going to be building an AC that permanently stays in the air without having to be a hover leg. The trick with this one is to just basically use the hover booster extensions. There are three things that need to be kept in mind in order to build such a permanently flying AC. Number one is energy management, number two is weight, and number three is energy efficient parts. First of all, let's start with the core, which is of course where everything's gonna attach to. So the Cronus is even lighter, very low energy drain, and the cooling is slightly worse. This one doesn't even have MG response. So maybe I'd try this one instead. Funny thing is I've already used this core for like a ton of other AC builds. Then we need arms. It's a no-brainer to use these ones. Then in terms of legs, tank legs and quad legs are ruled out of the equation right away. We now have a choice between either these two or try these legs, and let's see if we can find other low drain legs. So we got the tank legs, we got these ones as well. We can also go for these wal walrus legs. The issue is that they, they lack a leg weight. You know, let me consider these hover legs. Oh, they've been crushed. Okay, that makes sense. So in this game, there's this thing called parts damage. If your legs get destroyed, you have to buy a new set, which sucks. Let's start with the generator first. Boosters use a ton of energy. So the trick here is to make sure that the generator is able to provide enough energy to boost without losing charge. So that's the trick. The G84 is the best one. You can see I've got fairly lightweight, got great output, but we do miss out on the condenser capacity, but that's not an issue because we're never gonna really run out. So next thing we have is the radiator. This is all about cooling. The basic one's the best, but like, look at the cooling, it's horrible. Maybe this one could be better, but we're not gonna use any inside weapons for the time being. Then of course, here are those hover boost extensions that we need. Even though it says S tier everything here, it does still use quite a bit of energy. Boosters are very energy intensive, so we'll equip this blade right here, and then let's go for the gas, it's nice and light. Condenser capacity, boom, sight lock. Okay, the attack power, maybe this thing, this thing. The cooling is gonna be very important versus ECM because you don't have a dedicated radar. So now for the heads, the trick here is we want something that has all the functionality while keeping energy drain to a minimum. And for boosters, so here I'll try and go for the most efficient ones which are gonna be the B80ones. Then here we got the FCS. So an important thing is to kind of base your FCS based off of the weapons that you're using. So in my case, the gas has a range of about 445. So something below 600 should be fine. Obviously, you can check the defense, it's an E ranking, so that means it's extremely fragile. Let's go ahead and give this thing a test flight. Oh yeah, let's go. You can see how these boosters do consume quite a bit of energy, but look at how quickly that energy gauge recovers. That's exactly what we're looking for. In fact, if I run out of energy, it won't take long to, to recover. And look at that speed as well, 390 k's an hour. Alright, so now, for the ultimate test. Boom, look at that, infinite flight. Oh no, it is it draining a bit. Oh yeah, it's charging up, look at that. But just look at how bad our cooling is. Every single time I boost, we get a bit of overheating. Look at that, oops, 500, just from myself. So imagine once we're getting hit on by enemies. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually did already build an AC beforehand. This one's much more refined than the one we just built hastily. So you can see how we got the Cicada 2 head, as usual, the Cronus is still the core that we choose. We're using the A92s. We've got the LRJ-76s and the B69s, literally the basic boosters that you have in the game. Because they just so happen to be the most efficient ones overall. Of course, you sacrifice by having the weakest boost power. So who knew that sometimes the most basic things are actually the best? I went for the F91 because as you can see, we're actually equipped with a sniper rifle. This isn't exactly useful for one of the missions in the game. So you can see how we still fly around. The boosters make us much slower, obviously with the extra weight of the snipers and the missiles. But you can see how much lower the charge drain is despite the fact that we've got weapons equipped. Now obviously carrying a ton of weapons like this does cause a lot of energy drain so you can see how we're still losing a bit of charge. However, check this out. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're going up. Very, very nice. So if you do equip the right weapons, this thing is actually incredibly practical. So let's go for the very first mission in the game. So check this out. And just jump in the air. Boom. F smack him. However, it does move very slowly in the air, which is unfortunate. So, check this out. It makes it incredibly easy to dodge enemy fire. You pretty much get all the benefits of a hover AC without the destroyable legs, and you can dump the hover things at any time, but you do come at the sacrifice of use only low energy joint weapons, all that kind of stuff, but still, did you see how well we took that mission? Absolutely zero issues. Now you might be wondering, maybe there's a harder mission you can do? Well, I think I have one in mind. Recover the cargo. 
I've never done this mission before, so this is all on a whim. So, here we go. Should I dump the missiles? I have no idea. But now watch this. Ooh. Oh my, I'm just getting attacked. You know what, this didn't actually work out that well. Oh man, I'm just a target now. I swear it's never this bad. So now our incredibly practical application of this thing is remove bridge defenders. Check this out. This is like, it's purpose built for this pretty much. I jump up in the air, boom, enemy misses, bong, 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 bong. Just like that. This guy's annoying me. Oh no, I disabled the extensions. <laughs> My bad. Uh, restart. So now watch this. What? They're still up. What do you mean? Come on, knock them down. Finally. And just like that, we effortlessly fly through. If I'm being honest, I'm overloaded. You honestly don't need that many weapons for this particular mission. Boom. Dang, I almost failed the mission. <laughs> now while this hover AC might have an incredibly low weight, what if we build an AC that's incredibly heavy, but also has the highest armor in the game? Click this video to see us make that build.